see I got my life back. God took control and I called that a life hack. Hey there, Zach here, and with the release of Oppenheimer this weekend, I thought it'd be fun to show you what Christopher Nolan movies I have in my collection, what Christopher Nolan movies I still want to add to my collection, because it's not complete, I'm working on it, uh, but I thought it'd be fun to share, so uh, if that's something that sounds interesting to you, stick around, check out this video, um, and think about maybe giving this video a like if you enjoyed it, or subscribing to this channel, we do a lot of this kind of stuff around here, so uh, let's hop in. So, you don't really have these in any order i guess i guess it's alphabetical so we'll start here with the dark knight trilogy on 4k ultra hd in blu-ray looks these movies look pretty great um i guess it should come out this way and i got all three of them here batman begins the dark knight dark knight rises um, I like all three of these movies. I think they look all pretty good on 4K. Batman Begins, probably the worst of them that look, how they look on, on 4K. But um, <clears throat> I think all three of these movies are worth having in the collection on 4K. And three of them, eh, Dark Knight Rises, maybe not so much. But three of my favorite uh, Christopher Nolan films. And not really because of what he does with Batman, I guess. They're just good movies. Um, I actually think the Batman... Uh, Matt Reeves is the Batman is a little bit better than anything Nolan did here as far as what he does with Batman, but these are just really good movies and uh, absolutely 100% worth owning in the collection. You get this pretty cheap uh, around Black Friday, Prime Day, all that sort of stuff. So check this out. Three movie collection. It might be a hot take. I actually enjoy this packaging from Warner Brothers with the three movies in here like so. Um, I think it's a a lot of people think it's too bare bones, but I think it's really easy, simple, and looks nice on the shelf. So that's the Dark Knight trilogy. Next up here, we have uh, Dunkirk on 4K with the slip. Not one of my favorite Nolan films, but it uh, looks great on 4K. Uh, it looks, sounds great. Uh, I saw this for the first time in 70 millimeter. Uh, at one of my local theaters uh, when I lived in Tennessee, and that was a pretty awesome experience. Uh, and have revisited a couple times since. Again, not my favorite Nolan film by any means, but uh, still pretty good. And next up, one of the only two non uh, 4K titles in my collection is Inception with a lenticular slip on Blu ray. Wife and I just watched this recently. It was her second time seeing it. I've seen it a bunch of times. I saw this in theaters when I was 10, 12 years old. Um, and think it's great. I don't think it's a masterpiece, but I think it's a movie I still really enjoy and come back to. Heard not great things about the 4K on this, so I'm just going to stick to my lenticular slipcover Blu-ray edition. It works just fine and looks great. Um, but yeah, this is Inception on Blu-ray. Next up here is Interstellar on 4K with a slip. You can still get this with a slip for real cheap these days. I got this for $8 uh, with a slip cover brand new from Amazon uh, around Black Friday last year. It was my own, one of my only Black Friday pickups last year. I had a really slow Black Friday last year. Uh, but this looks, it's jaw dropping on 4K. Um, and this might be one of my wife's favorite Christopher Nolan film. I, I'll have to consult her about this. Um, and I think it's very good, but it's no 2001. Um, it's not the best space movie ever made, in my opinion. I know a lot of people think it's a masterpiece. I don't think it's quite there, um, but I do think it's it's really well done um, and looks great on 4K and it's worth adding to your collection, especially because you can get it for real cheap these days. So I think it's uh, definitely worth worth picking up. Next is a movie I got on Facebook Marketplace for two bucks. And this is Memento, starring Guy Pierce. I watched this movie for the first time a couple years ago on YouTube. <laughs> Somebody had just uploaded the whole movie there, so I watched it there. Uh, loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. One of my favorite Nolan films. Um, and I picked this up for two bucks on Facebook Marketplace so I could own it. Uh, steal of a deal there. And really, really dig it. So, 
This is Memento, Guy Pierce. If you haven't seen this movie, it's probably one of Nolan's more underseen movies compared to what he's done recently, but definitely worth um, worth picking up if you find a good deal on it. I think it's a great movie. And finally here, so you notice I'm missing The Prestige, Insomnia, and The Following, um, three of his earlier films on Blu-ray or 4K. Um, don't hate me, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. But uh, the last film I have here is probably my favorite film to show people on 4K. It's Tenet. Uh, first time I saw this movie in theaters during COVID, uh, liked it, didn't love it. Second time I saw it, liked it a little bit more, didn't love it. Third time I saw it, loved it. Fourth time I saw it, loved it even more. Fifth time I saw it, is this a masterpiece? I don't know. Uh, no, it's not. It's, it's definitely not a perfect movie, but um, it is so fun. And I'm glad I got to see it on a big screen several times. And I think if it had come out, you know, if it had waited a year or two, I think it would have been really appreciated and a lot of people would have checked it out in the optimal way to see it, which is in theaters. And yes, you can't hear anything they're saying. And yes, it, the things you do hear them say are confusing. Uh, but the trick to enjoying Tenet is to not think about it and to just kind of vibe out. It's a vibes movie. Just hang out with John David Washington and Robert Pattinson. Watch them blow up a plane, all the sorts of stuff like that. And you'll have a blast. Don't try to understand it. Just sit back and enjoy the vibes. That's my highest uh, recommendation to you uh, to watch Tenet and just relax and enjoy the vibes. Uh, I think it's I think it's really really good and a lot of fun and it looks looks spectacular on 4K. Spectacular. Probably like I said, it is my reference disc. If someone's like, hey, what's this 4K thing about? I'll pop in Tenet. We'll watch the first 10 minutes and I'll be like, whoa, kind of thing. So that's Tenet on 4K. Um, so those are the Christopher Nolan movies I have in my collection and I know it's not all of his movies and I know all of his movies are on Blu-ray um, Following has a Criterion release Prestige has a 4K I think Insomnia has a Blu-ray that you can get on like Groove and other places so I just haven't done it and that's on me I'm sorry um, but I uh, really like Christopher Nolan's movies he's not my favorite director by any means but he's a director that I do respect a little bit I'm excited for for Oppenheimer, uh, doing a Barbie Oppenheimer double feature. Uh, we'll be seeing Oppenheimer first, then Barbie second. So uh, stick around for a video of that later this weekend at some point. So uh, that's my Christopher Nolan movie collection. If you've watched this much, you probably enjoyed something you saw here today. So consider liking this video or subscribing to this channel. It really means a lot, uh, a lot to me and just appreciate you making it this far. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Looking at me now, yeah, see I got my life back. God took control and I call that a life hack.